Dudley's your GCC science exams are coming up soon and there are six of them which is quite a lot so what I'm going to do in this video is break down what's going to be the structure of the exam so you can understand it a little bit better now in these six exams you can have two biology two chemistry and two physics exams it's going to be biology one chemistry one physics one and then biology two chemistry two and physics two in that order now in biology paper one especially in biology everyone revises this the most and then everyone comes out of the exam going oh what was that because things happen in context in an exam so the examiners expect you to take the knowledge that you know and apply it to a new context and everyone finds this a little bit disconcerting at the beginning but if we go into the exam expecting the unexpected then it shouldn't be such a shock for you now when we come to physics exams, a massive, massive chunk of the mark is on the mathsy questions, so the maths in physics. And I know loads of people find this really, really scary, but it's not. What you need to do is to highlight the numbers in the question, pull the numbers out, so make yourself a little key of what is going on, find an equation, and write down the equation in full, write down all the words, this is what the examiners are telling us they want you to do and then pop the numbers in so substitute first and then rearrange afterwards write down the answer and don't forget the units you can get so many marks in these type of questions without actually doing any maths at all so these are a great way to get loads and loads of marks if we have a multiple choice question a tick box question and it says tick one box please tick one box if you tick two boxes and you're not showing the examiner you know what you're talking about so you will get no marks however if it says tick one box and you tick no boxes then you are throwing away an easy mark so please always if you see tick one box tick one box the beginning part of each question is going to be the easiest so if you get to part E of a question it's really really hard remember when you start the next question you're starting afresh I'm going to be here with you Oxford University Press is going to be here with you every single step of the way